The Bren gun, usually called simply the Bren, is a series of light machine guns designed and produced by Britain in the 1930s and used in various roles until 1992. While best known for its role as the British and Commonwealth Forces primary infantry LMG in World War II, it was also used in the Korean War and saw service throughout the latter half of the 20th century. Although fitted with a bipod, it could also be mounted on a tripod or vehicle mounted. The Bren was a gas-operated weapon, which used the same .303 ammunition as the standard British bolt-action rifle, the Lee Enfield, firing at a rate of between 480 and 540 rounds per minute, depending on the model. The Bren was magazine-fed, which slowed its rate of fire and required more frequent reloading than British belt-fed machine guns such as the larger .303 Vickers machine gun. The slower rate of fire prevented more rapid overheating of the Bren's air-cooled barrel, and the Bren was much lighter than belt-fed machine guns. The magazines also prevented the ammunition from getting dirty. The sights were offset to the left, to avoid the magazine on the top of the weapon. The position of the sights meant that the Bren could be fired only from the right shoulder. Each British soldier's equipment normally included two magazines for his section's Bren gun. The large ammunition pouches on the 1937 pattern web equipment were designed around the Bren magazine. Every soldier would be trained to fire the Bren in case of an emergency, though these soldiers did not receive a Bren proficiency badge. The Bren had an effective range of around 600 yards, when fired from a prone position with a bipod. For a light machine gun of the interwar and early World War II era, the Bren was about average in weight. On long marches in non-operational areas it was often partially disassembled and its parts were carried by two soldiers. The top-mounted magazine vibrated and moved during firing of the weapon, making the weapon more visible in combat, and many Bren gunners used paint or improvised canvas covers to disguise the prominent magazine. In general, the Bren was considered a reliable and effective light machine gun, though in North Africa it was reported to jam regularly unless kept very clean and free of sand or dirt. It was popular with British troops, who respected its reliability and combat effectiveness. The quality of the materials used would generally ensure minimal jamming. Although they were generally well liked, the high cost of £40 for each gun was an issue for the British Army leadership. This became a greater issue when it was discovered that only 2,300 of the 30,000 Bren guns issued to the British Expeditionary Force came back to Britain after the defeat of France. As the result, cost savings and increased rate of production became two main goals for subsequent variant designs. The Bren MK2 design simplified production by replacing the drum rear sight with a ladder design, making the bipod legs non-adjustable, simplifying the gun butt, reducing the use of stainless steels, among other steps that reduced the cost by 20% to 25%. MK2 was approved in September 1940 and entered production in 1941. While the Bren MK3 design also aimed at reducing cost, it also had the concurrent goal of being lightened for jungle warfare. The final product weighed 19 pounds and 5 ounces. It was standardized in July 1944 and saw a production of 57,600. Also standardized in July 1944 was the Bren MK4. However, it did not enter production until July 1945, and only 250 were built before the end of the war. While Enfield was able to produce only 400 Bren MKI guns each month, with the various simplification efforts production numbers rose to 1,000 guns per week by 1943. Bren guns were produced outside of Britain as well. In Canada, the John Inglis plant in Toronto began tooling its facilities for production in 1938, the first of 186,000 examples was completed in March 1940. In Australia, the Lithgow Small Arms Factory in New South Wales began building Bren guns in 1940, a total of 17,249 were built. In India, the factory at Aishapur began building Bren guns in 1942, and would continue producing them for decades long after the end of World War II. Many of the Bren guns produced at Aishapur went to Indian troops, 
who had lost a great number of automatic weapons during the disastrous campaigns against the Japanese in Malaya and Burma, 17th Indian Infantry Division, for example, found itself with only 56 Bren guns after fleeing out of Burma in 1942. The Bren was also employed in the anti-aircraft role. The tripod could be adjusted to allow high-angle fire. The Bren was also delivered to the Soviet Union as part of the Lend-Lease program. The British Army, and the armies of various countries of the Commonwealth, used the Bren in the Korean War, the Malayan Emergency, the Mau Mau Uprising and the Indonesia-Malaysia Confrontation, where it was preferred to its replacement, the belt-fed GPMG, on account of its lighter weight. Its final operational deployment with the British Army, on a limited scale, was to the first Gulf War in 1991. The fact that Bren guns had remained in service for so many years with so many different countries in so many wars says much about the quality of the weapon's design. The Bren was popular with the soldiers who fired it, who were known as Brenners, as it was light and durable, and had a reputation for accuracy, 